Hello everyone. Um, this is my 2017 book with Tomo River paper. Uh, I used the Michael Ruiz book last year, but I didn't keep a journal very much last year. The book I'm using here is called The Seven C Standard, and you can get it from nanamipaper.com. The information will be below. This is just a cover that I purchased from an eBay seller. I'll include that down below also. I just thought I would do a flip through here of the pages. This, um, you know, I have a love-hate thing with Tomo River Paper because it takes watercolor well. I love this book because it's sewn so it won't fall apart at all. I love how it's not, it's stayed together and the colors are real bright on the pages. It's kind of odd. You do get some ghosting and I don't know if you'll, if I'll be able to show you that. But anyway, I'll do a flip through and I'll try to show you where things have ghosted through. One thing about the uh, Toma River paper is you cannot use um, watercolor brush markers in it because it does they do bleed through I can use regular watercolor but the brush markers will bleed through um, like this was done with brush marker and if I would have used water on the back it would have bled through really bad but what how I counteracted that is I watercolored both sides and that writing was done after the fact so if I would have done this writing and wetted this side, that um, the reversed image of the type would have came right through the page. And then it's hard to cover up. So just remember that um, it takes gel pens fine. It takes fountain pen fine. It just has a bleed through. I think it must be because those pens, the watercolor brush pens are dye based. Anyway, I did post put post-it notes on the areas that I didn't want people to be reading these are two of my favorite pages I actually really like this one I um, have been trying to use just one color scheme throughout just to play with that since um, I usually go really vibrant bright with my work so as you can see, I'm trying to just use two and three tones of color, or two or three color choices. That changes. I mean, I, I go through stages of how I journal on pages, and that's that's a stage I went through. I still have to put, I have a color swatch of the colors I got, and that I was going to put down here. But I also tried these, um, was given these gel glitter pens, and I really like them. And I'll do a demo on one of my pages. If you look here, that's a bleed through from the page below. You can kind of see bleed through here from the writing here. And that happened because I painted this page after the fact. Instead of doing this page and then... Coming back and do the writing, I did this page and then I colored this page with watercolor. So it lifted that uh, those brush markers, the watercolor brush markers up. I love bold, bright colors. The Tomo River paper is really good for texture. It's not the best for getting a straight uh, gradation color change, but it does have this great texture that you can get. I, If you put um, tip-ins on your pages, make sure that they're not a heavy paper like this one was because it. I'm afraid that's going to rip right off of there even though I did tape it from both sides. I would tip in from the middle out, like put your washi down the middle of the out. It's just, I think tip-ins are too heavy for the Tomo River paper. So the, these creamy gradations are from those um, glitter crayons that I was talking about. But see the texture? You get really great texture. It's just that you can't get a straight gradation. So if you love that texture for that watercolor can give you, then 
this book is really great for that. This was created with the uh, markers, but I had painted this first, so, um, oops, I skipped a page there. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> this was created um, with the watercolor brush pens, and I had done that first or after this, so nothing bled through because this didn't, it, it's when water is on the back of something that it bleeds through. Actually, that was a page, sorry. Anyway, um, you, this is actually a, a glitter watercolor paint and it's really awesome. It actually looks like the glitter pens, but you have to put it on with a brush, which is, you know, kind of hard, but there's glitter gold. This is Poshka marker, but the edge here is a watercolor paint. And it's pretty amazing. I usually go back in with um, Posca markers and gel pen and just add some zip to it. Sometimes I re-outline to get a bold look to the black. So. Anyway, um. I try to do, just keep positive things in this, and a couple pages back I had written, it was a really negative day, so I actually painted over with acrylic paint over top of my watercolor, so you can paint with acrylic on the, on the Tomo River paper. You can use almost anything, it just, for some reason, I think dye-based items will bleed through easily. You could solve that by taping two pages together, like I did in my Michael Ruiz book. But you really don't get a lot of ghosting from one page to another unless, unless you lift it up and look at it in the light, then you get ghosting. But you're not, most people aren't going to do that, so I don't think it's a big deal. They're bright pages. Um, this is the anniversary of my mom's passing, and she loved black and yellow and bright colors, so I tried to do the page with the color she would like. Um, we went to see uh, Beauty and the Beast, and I love Mrs. Potts because here she is turned into a teapot, and her son is turned into a teacup, and she's so positive and happy and wanting to help others. She's just like a wonderful character. This was, this gradation was done with water, those watercolor pens, pens with a dye base ink, but it was done after the fact, after I painted that. And it doesn't bleed through. It just bleeds through when you put water on top of it. And sometimes I write things and then write over in different angles so that maybe it can't be read later. Like if I'm just ranting about something. I love this book because I can date the pages myself. Um, for the most part, I do write in it every day or drawing it every day. But sometimes I will miss a, a day or two. You notice on this page I have metallic silver ink. And that was done with a gel pen and a Posca marker. And you'll see that sometimes I will leave blank areas and a lot of times I have a note or a photo or something that I want to put on that page. On this particular page I have notes to go back and fill in the area of what happened that day. Um, you'll notice there's a big skip. I go from the 9th to the 15th but I don't feel guilty about it because um, I, I'm not wasting anything because the book is undated. Um, also, I like to use metallic gel pens in the background as I'm pointing to those areas there. Sometimes the pens are, they're, um, not opaque, so they're transparent and you can just add, like, glitter to the page with them. It depends on the pen. Um, here I'm showing you that the pages sometimes have ghosting 
you can see on the left there that there's ghosting from the page before but once you get it painted you will not see the ghosting at all and on the page on the right I have um, illustrated some pastries on the back of it and you can see that there's quite a bit of ghosting through there but once it's painted you won't notice that at all I just wanted you to see what you would be working on if you got this particular book and this is the um, 7 C standard notebook with blank pages they have one with lines and now they even have one with um, gridded it's gridded so if you like a grid they offer that now the Tomo River paper is awesome for watercolor a bit of ghosting but you can use fountain pen on it you cannot use alcohol ink so no Copics or Sharpie anyway I love the book I will include the information for it in the area below and I hope you have fun creating if you decide to use this type of book have fun creating and thanks for watching my video have a good day